Hi guys, it's Katie from Yarn Society. Today we'll be making this starfish flower. I call it a starfish because that's what it reminds me of. I made this design for my little crab, which I'm gonna picture here. It's a fun little wacky flower and it's super easy to make. So let me show you how. Supplies you'll need for this flower are yarn, a crochet hook, scissors, and a yarn needle. I usually use worsted weight yarn with an e-hook, but here I'm using a size 5 bulky with a 4.5 millimeter hook. To get this bow started, we want to leave an extra long tail and then make a slip knot. To make a slip knot, you can wrap the yarn around two fingers, crisscrossing it at the top, and then you can hold that tail in place with your ring finger. Push the back piece through to the front and then pull up on that back piece. You can adjust your slip knot with the tail by making it smaller or bigger. We're going to place our hook inside the loop and we are going to get set up with our yarn and we are going to chain four. So you're going to yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through again, and one more time. We're going to have four chains. Going into our second chain from the hook, I'm going to show you here, this is the first chain from your hook and this is your second chain. We're going to go underneath that top loop there. We're going to place a single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. Insert your hook underneath that loop, yarn over, pull the yarn through. You'll have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both loops. So that is your single crochet. In the next stitch, we're going to make a half double crochet. So in order to do that, we are going to yarn over. We're going to insert our hook in that next stitch gonna yarn over again. We're gonna have three loops on our hook. Yarn over and go through all three loops on the hook. In the next stitch, we're gonna make a single crochet and then a slip stitch. So you're gonna insert your hook, yarn over, yarn over and pull through two loops. In that same stitch, we're gonna make a slip stitch. So we're gonna insert our hook, yarn over, and then we're going to pull right through that stitch. From here, we're going to chain four. So you're going to yarn over, pull through for four stitches. This is three and four. So doing the same exact thing, we're going to find our second stitch from the hook. Here's one. Here's our second. And we're going to make a single crochet in that second stitch from the hook. So here is single crochet one. Then we're going to make a half double crochet in this next one here. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over, have three loops on the hook, yarn over, go through all three loops. Now in that last chain, we're going to make a single crochet. So single crochet here. And now we're going to make a slip stitch, but we're not going to make it in the same stitch. We're actually going to make it in this hole here. So I'll show you here. This was our beginning stitches. And you'll notice as you be crochet that this becomes wider and that's totally fine. So place a slip stitch in that big hole. So we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through our stitch. Once again, we're going to make four chains, one, two, three, and four. In the second chain from the hook, we're going to do a single crochet. Then we're going to make a half double crochet in the next stitch. We're going to make a single crochet in that last chain. And we're going to slip stitch in that big hole that we have from our beginning chains. So slip, make a slip stitch. And once again, we're gonna repeat. We're gonna chain four. So you want five total, so this is four. 
So we chain four in the second chain from the hook, you're going to make a single crochet. In the next chain, you're going to make a half double crochet. Then in the next stitch, a single crochet. And then make your slip stitch in that big hole that we have. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four. We want one more little side. So this is chain four, single crochet in the next, in the second chain from the hook. Then make a half double crochet in the next stitch. A single crochet in the next. And then we're going to make a slip stitch in that big hole. Okay, from here I'm just going to put this down and so I can leave a long tail and give this yarn a cut. And then I'm going to fasten off my piece of yarn. So I'm going to yarn over and pull the yarn all the way through. I'm going to give that a tug and then I'm going to give my other piece a tug here just to tighten everything up. Here I'm just going to put a knot to keep this in place and keep my middle closed and I'll show you how to finish up. Okay, so now you have your flower done. It might just need some rearranging. If you're gluing this piece on, you can just cut off the tails and you're done. But if you are sewing on the piece, we will do one little extra step. So go ahead and weave in one of the tails with your yarn needle. And then just go through a few stitches in the back just so that you can meet the middle of the flower. This will make attaching easier because then everything will be centered. Give your middle piece one more tug. And then just go ahead and make a double knot just to keep that middle closed. And that's it. Your flower is done. You can attach it to your amigurumi. You can put it around their neck to make a necklace. You can add this to your wreath. Here is one in worsted weight yarn just to give you a comparison. And that is it. I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment and let me know if you make one of these. And also subscribe to my channel for more crochet tutorials and crochet alongs.